What's up you guys? It's your girl Hannah Lauren back with another video. Today's video is kind of you know like kind of feeling salty today y'all. Kind of feeling salty today so I'm gonna have a chit chat with y'all. So you know today today is May 25th and today was my last day of freshman year. Yes, I am signing off of freshman year. Your girl's a sophomore now, okay. All right, all right. Might not look like it, but I'm a sophomore though now. I'm a sophomore. A ask me, ask me, ask me, grab me. Sophomore, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So yeah, I'm a sophomore, you guys. And basically, you know, last day of school, it was actually a pretty good day, you know. I felt relieved. And my motto for today was, I'm coming to school with the folder, and I'm leaving school without a folder. My mom was like, no book bag, Hannah? Yeah, no book bag, because uh, she's out. It's the last day of school, you know? But um, today, it was actually a pretty good day, you know? It's kind of salty because, you know, I didn't really get to say, you know, bye to people that I wanted to say bye to. And, you know, me and my situation right now, I don't really know if I'm gonna be back in my school. So, you know. It's, it's all good though, you know, I could, I could text them, call them, you know, see them whenever. But, um, yeah, so it was kind of like, dang, bro, you know. But it was a fun day. Last, last How good can I talk about freshman year? Freshman year, it was something to learn about. Because freshman year, honestly, I didn't really know what to expect. Let me tell you, the first day of school, when I got to my high school, I walked in. I was on the phone with my mom, walked in. And I saw a whole bunch of people in the hallway. From the school that I came from in middle school, it was very small. It was like only 700 kids and only like 82 eighth graders. So yeah, it was a really small school that I went to. And um, got to high school, it was just like, bruh, like this is a lot of children. It's a lot of black folks. And they got white folks. I was like, oh, John. Cause the school I went to, I ain't had no white folks in my uh, classes and stuff, except for one. But he was always, we always said he was black or whatever. But yeah, I was like, oh, John, they got Asians. They got white people. They got black people. They got everybody. They got Ethiopians. They got, they got Mexicans. Everything, everything. This is the, this is the first time I ever seen an Asian, Japanese, Vietnam person dressed so black like you know sagging with the pants got the shirt on with the chain on i was like oh john whoa so like that was a really cool experience but like freshman year it was really really great you know i met a lot of people that i can say was really cool people some people that i can really call my friends and stuff and you know you know in high school do you catch feelings i guess you catch feelings or whatever so i guess i had caught a little feelings you know <laughs> but um yeah so freshman year was something to learn from you know your GPA had you know you gotta you really gotta focus on your GPA y'all if you're going to, if you're about to be a freshman got to focus on that GPA and your grades because if you get C's I'm telling you C's will make your GPA go down okay you better have some high A's and four A's and about a good two C's to keep your GPA high but if you don't have them A's your GPA is gonna go low. So make sure your grades are, you know, together. That was one thing that I had to learn from. Make sure you study. Because high school is like a whole different type of level, you know? So you gotta make sure you study. That's what I need to learn. That's what I learned from this year. Cause me, I, I studied, but not really. So, you know, I learned, I learned that the hard way, but it was all good, you know? Um, but high school, it was a really good experience though. Freshman year was a really good experience. Can't wait for sophomore year. No, I can't wait for junior year, bro. Junior year? Oh, jump. You're gonna be lit. Hope oh, lit. Yeah, lit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, freshman year was great. It was awesome. You know, I got to spend it with my best friend. And, you know, that was awesome. It was great, you know? So, anybody who's about to be a freshman, um, good luck to you guys. Eighth grade was fun, but you're now about to hit the high school, the top level, but you still at the bottom level now. You know, you were at the top, but now you, they jot you down to the bottom. You got jot down, you know? lockdown because you're you're babies you know unless you don't look like one like me everybody when i went to the school everybody thought that i was either 11th grader or a 10th grader some people actually said I, they thought i was a senior i said whoa don't look that old but you know so yeah other advice when you're in high school so you know how people say in high school they people say like you know boys ain't nothing all that other stuff 
it's true, but it's not true. You know, you shouldn't really be worried about boys when you go to freshman year because it's, it's not really the main focus. First of all, you just need to be worried about your grades and stuff like that. Cause that's like that's what sets you basically because you're starting over and that's basically what sets you all the way up to 12th grade and wherever college or whatever so um you really gotta be focused on that but like boys in high school you know you just gotta you really just gotta you gonna go through times where you probably not gonna find the right one you think he's the right one but he's really not and then you gonna finally find somebody who's like whoa this dude is really cool and stuff like that and my advice to people who do want to get in a relationship or whatever in high school you know be friends with them first like don't grow don't try to go straight for being in a relationship liking them and stuff like that try to get to know them be friends with them like me oh telling y'all too much information too much information too much information Hannah why are you talking so much so basically you know just be friends with the person or whatever first and then once y'all get to be friends then you'll probably start to grow feelings for them or whatever it's best to it's best to like your best friend or your friend that you're really close with in school year or whatever so yeah but you're gonna go don't look I know some of y'all like I'm never gonna have a boyfriend never gonna like nobody but you are trust me you are and you know you're gonna go through times where you're gonna meet somebody and they might not be the right one for you you know you're gonna experience you might experience somebody you know cheating on you whatever stuff like that I don't really be experiencing that you know I'm really, really let's let's okay you might think I'm stupid or crazy but I've really never really dated anybody like that you know never really dated anybody my longest relationship was in third grade and that was really about it yeah third grade or whatever uh, it was it was it was like it was a couple of years but it wasn't nothing serious because we're in third grade fourth grade fifth grade so um yeah so basically you know just get to know the person you're gonna go through hard times and yeah but you know relationships that's not really the focus you know my advice to you is, you know, just wait wait till 10th grade to get in a relationship, to be honest with you. Because by that time, you'll have your GPA set, you'll have what you need to focus on and stuff like that. You know what you're about to do or whatever. And yeah, you know, so I say wait till 10th grade to actually make it label, that's my boyfriend, that's my girlfriend, you know? But yeah, and another thing, what's another thing that's really, that I learned from in high school? friends man I really know I did I didn't really experience this in high school because me I was I had friends in high school but it wasn't like I had like I got I grew some like ride or die friends and nothing like that but you know I have some really cool people that I can that I can consider my friends in high school but I've from other people's experience not all these people gonna be your friend throughout the whole entire year or throughout the whole entire year of high school because some people when when you're in eighth grade and you're really close with other people and stuff like that you know when you go to high school y'all gonna be separating so you know people gonna be showing out and stuff at the other schools and talking this talking that and then next thing you know y'all grow out of the relationship or the friendship that y'all are in so you know friendships they gonna come and go some people are there for a reason some people are there for a lesson or whatever stuff like that so you know it's it's all good though um but freshman year it teaches you a lot the main part is just focus 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 on your work get your gpa up make sure your grades are straight and um also don't be worried about the boys freshman year y'all don't like honestly it's really not that important it really isn't um it's really not that important you're gonna see some nice looking people whatever just you know hey he's really nice looking he's really cute whatever that's all you ain't gotta you ain't gotta say oh he's cute i'm about to date him ah, no calm down you got 10th grade year whatever and you know some of them don't even be worried about you and also don't be fooled by the games that these dudes be playing they be trying to come to you and stuff like that talking about uh hey beautiful you look nice today don't be fooled by that y'all it's nice to have compliments, but when they overly give you compliments, hey, beautiful, stuff like, no, don't even, don't even run for it, okay? Because obviously, sometimes they not the right ones. They usually the ones that be hopping around or whatever, you know, talking this girl, that girl, whatever. But you know, the person that that the person that's your friend that actually cares about you and stuff like that actually shows the things that the other people don't ever show that that try to run game on you. That's usually another you know, person for you. But don't even be worried about that. Don't even be worried about that. And the other thing is to just, you know, live life, y'all. Freshman year starts. You got to start it right. You got to end it right. So, you know, hey, 
don't be messing up though when you get to high school don't be fooling around y'all don't be fooling around at all don't fool around okay don't so yeah that's my little advice for the freshmen you know uh right now on may 25th and it is about four something yeah i think yeah four something i am not a sophomore all right all right yeah so i'm a sophomore now <laughs> 10th grade all right get ready get ready because she's about to bust in the place you already know what i'm saying so yeah and yeah so i hope y'all have a excellent day hope y'all chilling or whatever on the last day of school if y'all have the last day of school and yeah it's your girl hand lauren and i was just back with another video now i'm off this video i'ma see y'all on the next video yeah yeah yeah